Lieutenant, make yourself comfortable. On behalf of the Senate of the Galactic Republic, I want to thank you for appearing on such short notice for this informal inquiry. I'm at your service, Senators. I assure you, we will not hold you from your duties any longer than necessary, Lieutenant. The purpose of this inquiry is to investigate the defection of several members of Republic Army Special Forces Squad No. 326, codenamed Havoc Squad, to the Sith Empire. Now, you recently served in Havoc Squad on Ord Mantell, Lieutenant. Is that correct? That's right, Senator. While serving on Ord Mantell, all of the members of Havoc Squad, excluding yourself, defected to the Sith Empire. Is that correct? Yes, Senator. My squad defected right in front of me. Now, did Commander Tavis or any of the other members of Havoc Squad show signs of, say, instability, anger, frustration? I don't believe there were any such signs, Senator. Lieutenant, let us speak hypothetically. Do you believe that anyone serving on Ord Mantell should have seen this situation coming? I don't think anyone could have seen this coming, sir. Commander Tavis and the others must have been quite subtle indeed. I have one final question, Lieutenant. What connection, if any, exists between the events that occurred on Ando Prime and Havoc Squad's decision to defect? Senator, I would remind you that the circumstances of Ando Prime are classified and occurred before the Lieutenant's involvement in Havoc Squad. You may ignore that question, Lieutenant. Tavis said the Republic left Havoc to die on Endo Prime. Is that true? As I said, Lieutenant, that subject is classified. You needn't trouble yourself about it. Your part in this inquiry is concluded. You may return to your duties now. Goodbye, Lieutenant. It's good you've arrived, Lieutenant. We have a great deal to discuss. First, let me congratulate you for your work on the Black Sun operation. You did well disabling that nerve gas. Also, that prototype blaster you confiscated will teach us a great deal about the Black Sun sources. Glad to be of service. And whatever you hope to achieve with your Senate testimony, you certainly didn't make my job any easier. It's my duty to tell the Senate the full truth. Our top operators have defected to the Empire. That should be a much larger concern to you than playing it safe with a pack of bureaucrats. On to more pressing issues. My agents have discovered a vital new link to Havoc Squad here on Coruscant. Jack Carden, the founder of Havoc Squad and Commander Tavis's former mentor, has been spotted on the city's lower levels. He's serving as an officer in a local vigilante group. Is Carden tied in with the defection general? Carden resigned his commission and disappeared after the debacle on Ando Prime. If he's turned up now, it can't be a coincidence. Tavis told me that Ando Prime was the reason for Havoc's defection. What happened on that planet? We sent Havoc to Ando Prime to cut off an Imperial offensive, but the enemy numbers were much bigger than Intel had led us to believe. When we tried to dispatch an extraction team, the Senate shut down the entire operation. We were causing an incident and breaching the peace. <sighs> Bureaucrats. Havoc was left with no support and no way home. But in spite of insurmountable odds, Cardin led Havoc out of there alive. Havoc Squad really was betrayed by the Senate. They were put in a terrible situation, Lieutenant, but that doesn't excuse their actions. Cardin resigned as soon as he learned the truth, and Tavis took over the squad. They were never quite the same. What is important now is that we've discovered Jet Cardin's location. I want you to bring him in at all costs. I'll take care of it. The vigilante group Cardin is working with is called the Justicars Brigade. They control a large area of Coruscant's lower levels and are openly hostile to all outsiders. These vigilantes must be pros to control that much territory. They're very popular on the lower levels, keeping the peace where the Republic won't. But make no mistake, the Justicars are no friends to the Republic. Our surveillance shows that Cardin spends most of his time in the Justicars' main base. You will attempt to capture him there. Cardin is a crucial link to Tavis and the rest of the Havoc traders, Lieutenant. Bring him in no matter what it takes. I'll have Cardin back here on the double, sir. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. Dismissed. You listen to me, Carden. Helping you has already put my operation at risk. You will do exactly as I say, when I say, or... Or you'll what, Captain? I'm not one of your lock-stepping drones. This part of the op is mine. End of discussion. How dare you! Intruders! Put those blasters on the floor, soldiers. Nice and slow. In the name of the Republic, I order you to surrender. It's over, Cardin. You, the imps, Tavis, you're all going down. Not gonna happen, soldier. Now drop that weapon before... 
Havoc badge? Is this a joke? No, no. You must be the new recruit Tavis told me about. So you survived after all. Can't say I'm surprised, honestly. Havoc always did recruit the best. Surrender and this will all go much easier for you. You are a persistent soldier, I'll give you that. I'm impressed. I didn't think the old lady would send someone after me so quickly. After all these years, Garza still hasn't lost her edge. What are you waiting for, Cotton? Kill the whelp! Or do you lack the true resolve to fight for the Empire? My loyalty is to Tavis. Not to your Empire and not to anyone else. You want the trooper dead? You take care of it. I don't kill good soldiers. I'm heading down to the works to make sure everything is prepped. You aren't going anywhere. Do yourself a favor and die now, soldier, before you get in any deeper over your head. Open fire, men! Come in, Lieutenant. Is it my imagination, or were those Imperial soldiers you just fought? No mistake, sir. These were Imperial commandos. Imperial soldiers in uniform operating on the lower levels of Coruscant, and Republic security knows nothing about it? Incredible. We need to learn more about this link between the Justicars and the Empire. If they're hosting our enemies, they might have some useful information for us. Shouldn't I be chasing Cardin, sir? We need to know where exactly Cardin has gone before you can pursue him. All the more reason to search the Justicar base for information. Surveillance shows that the Justicars have their primary computer terminal in that base. Find the necessary access card and activate that computer terminal. My technicians can then slice in and uncover everything the Justicars and Imperials have been up to. You really think the Justicars keep data on all of Cardin's activities? As ex-military, I'm confident that they will have all their operations and personnel well documented. Just find the access card for the Justicar's primary computer terminal and activate it. My technicians will take care of the rest from here. Garza out. Good work, Lieutenant. My technicians are accessing the Justicar files now. Patrol schedules, supply manifests, prisoner records. Ah, card and you. I think we've found what we're looking for, Lieutenant. You have a new target. Are you saying the old man isn't my objective anymore? Cardin is still an objective, but not your only objective. Cardin had the Justicars work with the Imperials to hijack and rebuild an abandoned Republic communications relay, down in an industrial area called the Works. Apparently Tavis and his followers are using this relay to route all of their interplanetary communications. If we destroy it, the traitors will be completely cut off from one another. Taking the traitors down will be a lot easier if they're isolated. I'm sending Sergeant Matham to bring you the explosives. You'll need to destroy the relay. He'll rendezvous with you shortly. I'll meet up with Sergeant Matham ASAP. One last thing. Cardin didn't seem to mesh with the Imperials. I don't think he's as convinced of their supremacy as his protégés are. You're sure to find him guarding that con relay. Kill him if you have to, Lieutenant. But try to persuade him to surrender peacefully first. What can I do to convince Cardin to come in? Cardin's only concern is the safety of the former Havoc members. He may not be loyal to us, but he isn't loyal to the Empire either. Convince him that it's in the best interest of Tavis and the others for him to surrender. That's the best way to sway him. Sounds like a plan, General. Cardin could help us convince everyone to surrender peaceably. Make him see that, otherwise we're only going to kill them all. Now, hurry and rendezvous with Sergeant Mathen. You'll need those explosives regardless of what happens with Cardin. Good luck. Garza out.